Oh. Easy now. I can't get a hold of him. There we go. <laughs> Ouch. He, he is rough and tough. Hey guys, we're back and we're going after some more crappie. We're going to use that beetle spin today. It's probably going to put a Bob Garland jig and a live minnow on there. But if that don't work, we'll use a jig and bobber. But we're going to see if we can catch a good mess. Let's see what we can do, guys. Well, guys, I like to cast my beetle spin out there. And then I like to let it sit for like five seconds. Let it sink down pretty good. And then I just pull up and then let it flutter back down. Pull up, flutter back down. And I'm just basically finessing this beetle spin. And then when, you know, if the crappies are more aggressive, you can go faster. But it's basically, you're pulling up and fluttering down. Pull up, flutter down. And you're taking your time. You're going slow. That way you can entice him into that bite. You're just finessing it. Finessing the beetle spin. A three to five second drop rate. That way you get in their zone. Like right here, you can see some fish. Lot, most of them crappie like that three foot zone. So two and a half to three foot on the average in, in, a, in the creeks and stuff is where I find the crappie. So I, I let it sink. I know this is, has a slow fall ratio because of this uh, blade flutters and it's causing some resistance so it's slow to drop. So I go three to five seconds, and it usually gets me in that three foot zone. Gets me close. You know, crappie are up feeders, so. Yeah, that's another thing. Check this out about the beetle spin. The blade is on top. So this thing is swimming just like that, and your minnow is upside down. So the blade's up here flipping. The bait's right here and the crappie's coming from down here. He sees that bait at the bottom and bloom, the bait's right there. There's nothing in the way, just the bait. There he is. If I can get him in. Oh, this is a good something. My hand. He's a good fighter. What is that? That's a crappie. A pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're looking for. Man, he's a long one. <laughs> Easy there, buddy. Let me get this hook out of there. <laughs> Man. There we go. That's a good crappie. He's got a pretty good mouth on him. Man, he's a long crappy like. Let's see what he bought. Thirteen and three quarters. That's a good one. Thirteen and three quarters. Man. We'll take him. Got my minnow. Put us another minnow on here. Yeah, guys, when I hook these minnows, I like to hook them right behind the eyes. Get them right there. They'll really hang on that that beetle spin really good. So that's where I like to hook them at. You can swim it around, and usually don't lose that minnow until you get snagged or or you know in a fish after several several casts. You might he might come off, but most of the time you don't lose him until you get a bite. Okay, let's see if we can get a cast out there now. There we go. Good looking spot. There he is. Oh, he had it. He didn't want to hang on to it, huh? There he goes. He come back and got it. Come on, baby. Well, that's a pretty good one. I'm gonna get the net just in case. <laughs> Easy there, buddy. Man. He's just a thick old crappie. I mean, he's a good one. But look how solid. That's a solid looking crappie. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
nice pretty black crappie man they are thick man <laughs> Give him a link to check right here. He's almost 13. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Another fish jumps on while I'm, I shouldn't have left that fish spin hanging in the water there. But we'll take that crappie. He was a good one. No, that wants speed today. I'm going to give him speed. Look at that. That's what they want. They want speed. Did you see him chase that? You want speed. I'll give you speed. Look at that snake, guys. He done snuck up on my boat. Get out of here. There he goes. Easy, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on in here. Okay. There we go. We're chasing with the net. <laughs> oh man, that's a, another good crappie. Man, these guys are so thick. Mmm, eleven and a half. Pretty black crappie. We'll take him. There he is. Come on, baby. Man, he's fast. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a... Wow. That was a brim. He was doing the donuts. Circle, circles. Man, that's a good one. That's a pretty bluegill. <laughs> Man, what a fighter. Yes, sir. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. Did you just get my minnow? No. I did get a bite though. Try another one up in there. Oh, he just got my minnow that time. There's something up in there. <laughs> I don't know if that's a crappie or a bluegill. So we'll give him another try. Oh. Either he's a light, he's biting really light, or it might be a bluegill. But hey, we're catching bluegills too. I might throw a old, old, uh, worm and pork in there in a the jig in a minute. That felt kind of felt like a bluegill. But we don't know yet. Let's see. He'll bite again. I don't think that bluegill would hit it again. There he is. Oh, it's crappie. Yeah. He's a little guy. He might be big enough. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, he's, he's about 10. I'm catching some good ones. I'm giving another chance. Later. <laughs> hmm. There he goes. Turn the trolling motor off. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Get the net. Better than that last one I caught. Easy. Oh. Trying to be quiet because I'm right here on top of him. Whoa. He is a pretty one. Mm hmm. 
that's a pretty crappie man see how long he is almost 13 and they they are solid they must have plenty to eat because they're getting thick we'll take him well guys this is the rod and reel i'm using today it's an alba garcia max x10 light spinning reel and it's got a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio i got a spool with six pound test high vis mr crappie and this is a shakespeare micro series five foot six light action rod got a good sensitive tip it's got a good backbone to sit and fight that fish it's my favorite rods i like to use them a lot anyway i got three or four of these now and uh if you're interested in them i got links down below the video in the description box and you can check them out There he is. Easy there, buddy. Oh yeah. He looks like he might be a good size to eat. We'll see. He's a fighter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's a ten and a half. He's a good good size we're taking thick thick crappies I love it Another one. Oh yeah. Come on in here. <laughs> oh. he fell in the boat too. <laughs> Man. Another well, he's he's almost ten and three quarters. Another good black crappie. We'll take him. Give him another try up in there. It might be another one. Mm, there was something right there. I wish my boat wasn't so close. There he is. Oh. He got my minnow. He got my minnow. <clears throat> Got last one. That last one got my mina, so I'm trying it again. I'm trying to scoot back up. There he is. That's why I'm trying to scoot back right there. <laughs> Just pull him over the front of the boat. <laughs> he's a, <clears throat> he's definitely a little bigger than the other ones. Yeah, on him. He's a little over 11. But yeah, I, I done stumbled on top of him, so I had to. We'll take back off because they seem to be piled up right here. Maybe there's one right by this tree right here. In the same vicinity. Very possible. Usually when I get two or three bites like that, there he goes. <laughs> oh, there's a bluegill. I wish I'd have got him in. Lost the bluegill. I just seen him swim across right there. That's what he was. That's a big boy. Yeah, if I can get him on in here. He, he's actually a pretty good fighter.
Oh yeah. Easy. Oh. Easy now. I can't get a hold of it. There we go. <laughs> Ouch. He, he is rough and tough. Man, these guys are thick. Man, he is. He's still flat fighting. He ain't messing around. <laughs> he's a good one. We will take him. Well, guys, I wanted you to check out my net. It's a Placino. They make these nets. They're about a meter long. Uh, they're you're adjustable. You can even click this and fold it up. But what I like about this net, guys, this thing floats. It's got a rubber coating and a good aluminum beam around here for a big mouth to scoop that fish up. And it's got this floating device here and a floating handle. So if you drop her in the water, you're not going to lose that net. You know, I've lost a lot of nets over the years. And it's mainly kids playing over, you know, in the water. And, and they let go and it just goes to the bottom. But, but not this one, guys. This one's going to float with you. And uh, what I was going to tell you is, if you guys are interested in this, there's a link down below the video in the description box. You can check out this net and get a 10% discount off anything in their site. But anyway, I got all my tackle gear down there. You know, almost everything that I have it, that I use is linked down below and y'all can check it out. Rod and reels and a lot of the tackle and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, these are really good nets. I love this net. It's, it's good for one-on-one. -on -one. You know, if it's just you, and and you know short rod i'm gonna i use a short rod so i'm not gonna say it's really great for a long rod i don't know you can try it and see but works really good for me guys well guys we caught another good mess of them they just keep like hammering we'll take them yeah since i'm right here might as well fish this There he is. Oh, 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 I am really surprised because you can't hardly catch them. As clear as this water is, the crappies are usually spooked, but he must have followed it to the boat and then jumped on it. He's a little guy. I don't even know if he's big enough. Nah, nine and three quarters. Yeah, he's a pretty, pretty little crappie. Lady. I don't want to disturb him though. In the boat. There he is. That one's a bass. The little bass jumped on him. Chunky little bass. Later. 